in the beginning, God, that says enough, I'm sure, to reveal to us the ending if our heart and thoughts are pure. If our minds had not been poisoned by the doctrines and dogmas of man, we'd have seen the Creator as far too wise to have done it with no master plan. His name of itself is descriptive of where in time He does stand. He's Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. A truth that we cannot understand. We are limited, friend, to one place on the chart. We look backward and forward for sure. But God's parallel omnipresence and power in each layer of time will endure. He's never been challenged by forces of darkness. All things in this earth are related. And nothing at all, light or dark, great or small, now exists that He hasn't created. He's never lost space or face or place. He's never been out of control. He's never lost power, no, not for an hour. And He's never lost one single soul. In Adam all sinned, mankind stumbled and fell, his rebellion encompassed all man. Then through one sacrifice representing all life, mankind got back up again. With all represented, God's anger was vented, creation was shaken for sure. Now we live in a place that is covered by grace, where his love and his mercy endures. For the blood of one lamb, sacrificed by I am, was enough to take care of all sin. And from that day to this, no religion exists that can bring back that sin dead again. Man runs hard on the treadmill of works with the hope that he'll please the great God of the skies. We try hard not to keep our appointment with death. Then we breathe our last breath. And surprise, we step into a world permeated by light where temptation and hatred are nowhere in sight. With all prejudice gone, we approach the great throne and we realize we're not there with our kind alone. Yes, it's true. God's great plan reconciled every man. His redemption has flowed to all nations and they all have a right to be filled with His light and embrace this global salvation. From the throne, all is well. He destroyed death and hell. Heaven's filled with a victory shout. Now the residents here have a role that is clear. Read the script and just walk the thing out. All the holy books show it. This world as we know it will one day be brought to an end. Be it now or much later, we will find the Creator has decided to be our best friend. All the darkness will fade as the night turns to day. Every cry will be silenced by laughter. And the God from the start will fill every man's heart. And all men, all races, every kindred, tribe and tongue, good and bad, old and young, great salvation, not a few, every Gentile and every Jew will all live happily ever after. That's the God of reconciliation, y'all. If He's omnipresent, omni, omnipotent, all-powerful, everywhere, and omniscient, knows all things, how could He stand at the beginning of time and create mankind knowing that our end would be endless torment and torture for 95% of us. I'm here to declare that He couldn't and He didn't. He's the God of all grace and His mercy endures forever. Thank you.